Welcome to St. Andrew Online. I'm Pastor Monica Jefferson, Senior and Lead Pastor of St. Andrew United Methodist Church, inviting you to join us July the 22nd, 2012, as we continue uh, in our sermon series titled Sticky Faith. Sticky Faith. We're using object lessons uh, to help us remember uh, some of the ideas that we're using uh, here at St. Andrew uh, for our um, sermon series. This week's sermon is titled, More Than a Band-Aid. More Than a Band-Aid. The object lesson this week is, of course, Band-Aids. We're using Luke chapter 10 verses 30 through 37. At verse 29, it asks the question of those who were trying to trap Jesus uh, into doing or saying something that was unlawful. They asked this simple question, who is my neighbor? It was in reference to the violent times in which uh, they lived in uh, during uh, Jesus, uh, God being with us here uh, on earth. Jesus tells the story of a traveler. Uh, there was a road between the cities of Jericho and Jerusalem and Jerusalem and Jericho. Uh, that was a very dangerous road. One time, there was a traveler that was seriously injured. And one of the challenges of this road is that uh, many times uh, people lay in wait in order to rob or uh, to kill or to uh, harm people. I start this invitation off this week because this is July the 21st, one day after the shooting at Aurora, Colorado, where uh, a, a person came in that was so broken and so disconnected from the reality of this world or wanted to disconnect from the reality of this world that 12 people were killed and more than 50 people were injured. We do still live in a broken world. Jesus tells this story that there were two people who one would expect from their position in, 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 in life uh, and one from their position in their faith community who passed this person by. We pass people by for a variety of reasons, out of fear, fear of, of threat of our own life, of fear of, of harm, or just, we're just too busy. But along came a person who one would never suspect uh, that stopped and saw the person, a Samaritan, a person that was considered in society and culture uh, to be beneath the two people that passed the injured person by. Sometimes we get so caught up in what we're doing that we let fear, we let um, all kinds of circumstances prevent us from just being kind human beings. Jesus answers the question or asks the question of these three people, the ones that passed him by for a variety of reasons or the person that came from the wrong side of the tracks who picked the person up and not only picked him up, but took him to a place where uh, he could be healed and that he could have care and be nursed back to health. And he picked up the tab. Which one of those persons were truly neighbor? Well, Jesus said to those who asked him the question, Go and do likewise. The answer to that question was the one who helped the man who was injured. In spite of all the things that could happen, he helped the man that was injured. Well, uh, Luke chapter 10 uh, is a, a, a very uh, focused and poignant uh, text for us to be looking at at St. Andrew. Uh, each week when I invite you to join us at 8 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. for worship and 9.15 a.m. for a time of fellowship and gathering uh, at St. Andrew, at 9.30 a.m., it's a time of learning for our children, youth, and young adult in what we call faith development. 
It is a way of coming together and continuing to stay connected, continuing to find uh, long-term ways in which we can stay connected to God and be in community with one another. Maybe to learn how to 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 stay within the reality uh, of of this world by having a community of people in which you can engage and 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 get to know and get to know God through uh, the people around you. We also have a safe sanctuary trained nursery attendants caring for our little ones uh, uh, here at St Andrew. So you see, uh, whether you come and visit us here at 8 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. or at any time on Sunday morning, or whether you look for us on our website, standrewumc.net, you need to spell that out, S-A-I-N-T-A-N-D-R-E-W-U-M-C dot N-E-T, or facebook.com, standrewumc, you will need to spell that out. However you engage us and we engage you. We remind you, I remind you, that we are creating community in Jesus Christ and that you matter to God and you matter to us. As I send you, I send you as I do the congregation each and every Sunday because one is an amazing number. And if you put one together side by side, it becomes community. And that's what we're striving to do in Jesus Christ. One thought, one action, one prayer, one thought, one action, one prayer. Go in peace, and may the peace of God go with you as you